Here's the dash camera kit, the M8 dash cam. Comes packaged up. Some nice foam protector for it. So all the accessories it comes with. Uh, here's the reverse cam. I have the M6. The M6 has a bunch of lights on it, but it's plastic. This one is metal and has no lights, so I'm curious to see how much better it is, or if it is better at all. It's supposedly a higher quality um, image, we'll find out. Uh, you get the rubber straps for the back. Here is um, for the reverse cam. It's plugged in through the side. This plugs in here. This should be able to line throughout your car. And here is uh, the charging uh, adapter. It's a mini USB, not micro. I wish it was my uh, mini, but I mean micro, but it's mini. That's about it. A little microfiber. Uh, but I'm gonna set this up. I just installed the mirror. I use these uh, normal size bands. They seem not as stretchy, even though they're thinner. Um, but apparently they're not as stretchy as these rounder, thicker ones that are 50% stretchier for thicker mirrors. I'm guessing mine, I have a Honda Accord 2002, is a regular size. I use the normal ones to the max capacity because there's multiple ways you can hook it on the back of the actual mirror because there are these clips. I don't know if you can see. There we go blows up the back but there are these clips that are on both sides that hook onto the mirror so I just use the lowest portion on the bands in order to get the tightest fit because you want it to be pretty tight and uh, it still moves a little bit but, but yeah put it up it seems pretty good there is a blue tint to it which my M6 didn't have I mean it makes it look a little bit darker I wish it was a regular mirrors but um should be fine the larger uh screen seems pretty nice i just I USB, installed sorry. i was gonna use uh i mean i wasn't gonna use this adapter because there's nothing else here and i have a a multi-port usb-c put these two um, plugs free for whatever else for anybody else that wants to use it or if i need to use it and what i did right now i'm using this to power up the actual device just to test it out since i don't want to turn on my car um i got a USB cable, a mini USB cable, and I just ran it, a really long one, I bought it online, like mono price, ran it through uh, this under part right here, the glove compartment goes, so I just run it through here, it's kind of tight fit, and it goes underneath there, see it's kind of hanging, so I have to kind of um, put that somewhere else, or maybe... Um, zip tied or something went up underneath went up on the side of the door inside the side panel where the fuses go and then actually ran it through this pillar which is actually pretty easy to peel away right here to pin on your car might be a little bit more difficult but i ran it up there and then i ran it if you can see Right under there, you can't really tell from the inside or the outside, but if you get up close, you can kind of see it right there. There we go. Then I ran it all along the inside line here, here, here. All the way to get to this point right there. So that allows me to use an actual further longer length micro USB and not have to use this included one. But if you're just gonna be using that, uh, the, the reverse cam and the mirror cam, you should be fine with just that. So now I'm gonna work on the actual reverse cam adapter and run it along the left hand side of the pillar all the way to the back of the car. Should be easy. So I just ran the wire. What I did was um, just get the length to the actual mirror first. So I uh, made sure I measured enough to reach down and enough for me to put it all the way down if I need to. 
and I got it started and rang it up underneath here, pushed it in, pushed it in all the way, pushed it in, pushed it in. And right now it's coming out of here. So what I'm gonna do is just fill it in through here. Um, and the Honda Accord, at least 2002 models, around that year, it'd be pretty, it's pretty easy to do this. So you just push it in there and I'm gonna do it all the, way, all the way along the back and I'll show you when I get towards there. All right, so here's a continuation of what I just did. Uh, from the front, like I told you, pretty much ran it up uh, that pillar right there. You can see a little bit of a gap, but it's not too bad in the car. It fix a little bit better, but I just ran it all up along. All up along this flap right here and kind of pushed it underneath the top of the car. Ran and ran ran. It's in there. And this you can kind of pull it down and I just jammed it all in through there. Same continuation. Can't really see because I put it up underneath there. The same, same. Uh, this camera's not good at focusing, especially because of the blown out background, but same all the way there we go all the way up to that point and even there same thing run it down this whole entire line as soon as i got down to this part um this part of the car does not move but this part does so what i'm doing is when i get down to here so i'm there i kind of bend it and then just jam it in here to hide it see it jam it in there all the way down you gotta take the whole entire bundle of um, wire, put it underneath here, in order so you don't get a wire going overlapping it. And then uh, move the back of this car at least, and the wire can run right there. So there's no having to run into like the speakers or anything like that. You just go to the back of the car, and then from there you can get to work on the back of the car to get it um, wired up to your brake lights. So you can just. Pretty much leave it there if you want to get some tape or something to hold it in place but i didn't do that i just pretty much you can close it down from there and uh you're good to go it's hidden it's out of the way and it's leading all the way up to the front right there pretty seamless setup at least in my car i know modern cars or a lot of newer cars might be a little bit more difficult but it should be a pretty similar setup so let me get done uh, done with the back and then I'll show you how that goes. All right, so came through the back like I showed before. You can see the wire there in the middle of the screen. I pretty much ran it behind. Oh, sorry about that. Ran it behind this right here and it's up underneath there. And see one of the wires there? Then I bunched all the extra there because I don't need all that wire. I bunch all the extra, I, I binded it with a twist tie, put it in there, it should be fine. And the little video out is just hanging right there with the red power for the brake light going upwards. So that's where I left it there. That's where I'll plug it in. And here I read it up the, the trunk hinge and I'm going to zip tie it. I just started one right there. You have to make sure, at least with mine, did you give enough slack because when you close it the hinge is going to bend backwards so you don't want it to like bend to put too much stress on the actual uh, wire so i'm going to run it up along the entire hinge this black part right here right now it's just hanging i was just trying to show you um i fed it i fed the camera the black camera line first through the top here See, so I put down the camera right there, ran it behind, and I took off the brake light. It's the only hard kind of hard work you have to do with this car. I took off the brake light, so I'm running the wire. Since the camera can't fit through this tiny little hole, I just ran a little adapter through the backside. And it's running down through there. And then the power light, same thing. I just reversed it, ran it up to the brake light. So I'm going to finish uh, tightening this up, and I'll show you what's going after that here we go just finished up uh looks kind of messy here but uh it's not too bad i'll probably fix it a little bit better later uh, here's all the wires zip tied them all off zip tied them all off going up 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 through the trunk up above 
I use that as my ground, the screw right there, the black is the ground. And for the brake lights, I just put it into the adapter there. You can see it. That way it gets power when you go into reverse. And it seems to work just fine. Brake lights back in. The wire is right there as you can see. And here is the camera. Not bad. Fits well. Looks decently hidden. And um, I'm just going to try it out after now. It wasn't too bad of a setup. It took maybe an hour or so. I was kind of messing around. Not bad. I'll try it out now.